What's up everyone? Welcome to the final pumping update dev blog. Um, I want to say that it's on track to be really super soon. I'm still not giving a exact ETA, but um, we're getting closer and closer. Um, final touches are kind of in place. The code's finished. A lot of the trucks are set up for it. Um, but anyway, let's jump into today's dev blog. So I'm going to show off the tanker and its pumping capabilities. Um, some pump UI improvements, which it's still not finalized. It's still kind of like a pre-alpha UI. Um, I plan on replacing it with actual like pump panel looking buttons and stuff. However, so we're at lovely station six. I guess we'll pull out the truck here. So every truck is going to have different aspects that it'll be better in. Um, this is our newest engine coming this update, titled Engine 4. It's going to be one of the fastest engines in the game, but it also has a lower tank capacity to hold water than some of the others. Um, they have different throttle levels that they can go to, and there'll be a full guide on it in the pumping UI with stats of each truck. All right, so we'll go ahead and connect to this hydrant. Um, I disabled being able to disconnect the other ends just because it can get confusing for people, um, especially since I made it so you can only connect input to input, input to output, and output to input. So, um, moving on. Um, so with the tankers, since they're gonna be moving a lot more water, um, they have a way higher throttle level. Um, this holds three thousand gallons in the game. I added a max throttle button, labeled the things, put the, the buttons. Um, intake and discharge is directly on the UI now. All the discharges are color coded. Um, I did use a color blind friendly palette, which it's not totally set up for it yet, but the red and blue is just a slightly different shade. Um, I believe the yellow was set up for it too. So, we'll go ahead and charge this hydrant. So, something cool about this is it has one, two, three, four, five large diameter discharges. So, you can supply up to five trucks if you want to simultaneously. So. Go ahead and blow our tank fill. This is blue top hydrant. We're getting a lot. So, the throttle on this truck. Close my tank fill. Goes all the way to 1250. Um, and if you set this to. 6, whatever the hydrant is, um, think fill again. So this allows you to pump to the full capacity of a hydrant as well on its own without the hydrant. Um, you can also, if you have even more water come in, especially if it's like a boosted, the pressure boosters on. You supply a lot of water. Um, each truck's pump is a little bit different. Um, they have different amounts of discharges, intakes. Um, like this one only has one large diameter discharge. It's not really meant to be a supply piece, however. Um, I did allow that to stay on just because, um, just in case it happens to become one. But the intakes are on the sides. So many choices to connect to the discharge two. Go ahead and charge that. And then we'll close number one. 
So, um, since this truck actually has a higher capacity than the hydrants, um, you can actually close your tank fill. Pull your tank to pump, and you just max throttle it, and you just go ahead and dump your water into wherever you need to. If you have the tank fill open. Which, even with this maxed out, um, it still take a little bit to drain your pump. Um, someone asked if this related to GPM or pressure. Um, it's kind of like a custom system. So, there's no set calculations or anything you can really do. Um, the biggest thing is just knowing how much you're bringing in and how much you're putting out. So... This truck has all blue lights. Um, we can go over the squad too. I think that's set up for this as well. We go to station four. So I don't remember if I left the debug code on. I did. So when you put the trucks in the pump gear, um, which isn't fully put in yet, um, this truck, the pump panel actually gets exposed. And you have full access to it. That's lit up for night too because it did get dark. Um, regarding ladder trucks and stuff, um, they won't have any pumps on them, but they will have a intake connection and the engine just flows through them. Um, you'll need the engine to pump to you at at least 100 minimum. And the tower is going to be like that. Um, the quint's going to have its own pump, though. Um, go to station two real quick. This tanker hasn't been set up yet. As you can see, this pump panel has been replaced too. Um, I got two discharges on a and an intake on the pump panel. Got one discharge out the rear. Two large diameter discharges. Intake on the front, and another small discharge. So every truck. Um, every pump panel's a bit different. One that's actually quite different is the other tanker. I think it's tanker one. Oh, train trucks. <laughs> Maybe next time. Um, so both tankers have only one small discharge that you can stretch a handline off of, um, but they have a lot of, large discharges to supply with. Um, this one has three, um, I believe I made the throttle for this one, also 1250. Um, same capabilities as the other pumper. Um, just set up a little bit different and especially with a smaller pump panel So every truck will be able to draft um, Only some have deck guns which You'll know if it has one or not either by looking on top or looking for the lever for it, but um, That's pretty much it guys um, The update will be out within the next few days. Um Probably on testing, but it could end up on default depending on how much um, stuff is found by staff. And if I feel it's in a good position, we'll go ahead and update the base game. But um, otherwise, it'll be found on testing. Uh, make sure to stay tuned on the Discord. Follow all the updates. 
another YouTuber, Spur Gaming, has been putting out a bunch of pumping update videos for us. Showing more expanded gameplay and stuff, so. Um, anyway, guys, have a good night.